Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. In today's mortgage environment, providing our wholesale community with the best combination of product, pricing, technology, and service is paramount to their success. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway, and this is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network and our friends at PRMG, who are always working for your best interest. So... Let's start with some housing items that we received last week. I thought the data was pretty good, uh, so let's go over them. First of all, let's talk about applications for mortgages, and we'll compare what we received in the news this week compared to where it was a year ago. So first of all, where were interest rates changed? Do you know that interest rates currently are about seven-eighths higher than they were a year ago? Rather significant change, right? But get this, purchase mortgage applications, even with interest rates seven-eighths higher, and Home prices on a year-over-year basis increasing about 6%. They were up year-over-year by 4%. Shows you there's a lot of underlying strength. Now, refinances, of course, as you would anticipate, 7 8 iron rate, they did not fare as well. Refinances down 39% year-over-year. The sheer number of refinances are their lowest level in 18 years. But team, listen, when you take a look at your pipeline and you try to think about people that may be refinance candidates, what I see a lot are people are dismissing opportunities with individuals who have lower rates. And I, I get it. It's, it's only natural to think, why would somebody want to refinance who currently holds a loan at 4% into something that might, more be, but be, yeah, that might be more current at 5%? So why would they do that? Well, it's because things in life change. And last week, CoreLogic tells us that people's home, individuals' home equity gained 13% year over year, just a little under 13, between 12 and 13% year over year. That's due to some home price appreciation and obviously you amortize your loan, but equity in homes gained 13, 12.5% or so last year. That means that maybe somebody who still may have a lower rate may be a candidate to refinance because perhaps you can get rid of MI. And don't forget, people love to spend and get themselves in debt. So because of that, maybe they need cash out, which they could do now because of appreciation. Maybe they might want to pay off some credit cards or car loans. You know, we have an amazing tool in MBS Highway. We call it our annual review and our debt consolidation tool. It's designed just for that. It's so nice when you put those debts in and you just click them and you can see the changes in payments. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of opportunity for us to solicit those individuals and gain some additional transactions. All right. Now, we also did get new homes, uh, housing starts, pardon me. Uh, housing starts came in up 9%, really strong. And on um, on existing home sales, those were flat. There was no revisions and it was flat, but it wasn't expected to go up much. When we took a look at the numbers internally, pretty good. 264,800 was the median home price. That's up 4.6%. Uh, just overall, pretty strong numbers. Now, inventory levels, this was the interesting part. Actually, inventory increased for the first time on a year-over-year -year basis by 2.7%. It's still tight. It's coming off of you know, historical lows, and there's about a 4.3 month supply of homes on the market. The normal supply on the market, they say, is about six months. So we're still in a tight inventory environment. And this is an interesting fact too. Days on the market, it rose a little bit, but still pretty darn good. Average days on the market went from 27 days to 29 days. That's still pretty darn quick that homes are selling overall at that pace. This week, we'll get a lot to digest as well. Market moving news, Fed on Wednesday, and then on Friday, the Fed loves the personal consumption expenditure, that measure of inflation. So those can actually move interest rates for us. Fed's going to hike by a quarter. History tells us that the market tends to do well when the Fed hikes, so that could be a good thing. Housing, 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 all week. Lots of housing data, so certainly that's something to share with our customers and explain and break down because the media invariably will put a negative spin on it. Now, when we talk about uh, what to expect with the Fed and where interest rates are headed with the Fed, there's also some interesting things developing on the technical side. I remember last week I talked to you and I said, watch that 301. If we break above it, we're off to the races. And sure enough, we did break above it and we 
So it yields rise quite a bit. Now, the next stop is 3.117 on the 10-year Treasury. But we are now far away from a moving average, a 25-day moving average. When we get this far away from it, you get something called the leash effect, which means just like a, a dog on a leash, if they stray too far, you kind of pull them back on a leash. With a really strong correlation, prices tend to come back, yields tend to come back towards the 25-day moving average. I think we may see a little reprieve here. Even though stocks are rolling and that would pressure bonds, I think we may see a little bit of a reprieve. Interest rates should improve a little bit, but don't fall in love with this because this is temporary. Uh, turn to October, we get another round of uh, Fed cuts in their purchases. And every time that's caused interest rates to move up. But the ECB, European Central Bank, joins the party too. They cut back 30 billion euros of bond buying to 15 billion euros a month. Still big numbers. But the world's interconnected. And when you have this cutback and cutback and cutback in buying, it's got to be absorbed by the market. Every time this has happened, you have seen yields rise. I expect October to see yields rise. But right now, we could have a small window. Take advantage of it. And listen, really take advantage of MBS Highway. Do not be in a position where you'll be vulnerable. And, you know, the Zillows and the Amazons and everyone else out there and competitors, it's really competitive right now. You need every edge you can. You need to convert and you need to sound smarter, be smarter, make better decisions and have the right tools. Get on MBS Highway. Good for you. Good for your customer. Good for your referral source. Talk to you soon. Bye. PRMG continues to provide our wholesale partners across the nation with better technology, better product, better pricing, and better service. Our nationally recognized brand is more than just an image. It is a symbol of integrity. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS highway trial. This is Mortgage News Network.